Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to my office. So today we have this, you know, very hot, humid summer day and I have some yard work being done that's kind of noisy. So we thought we would film here in my office today for a little change of pace. Plus I, in here we have air conditioning, we're really comfy. So we're going to design a piece using the Glass Eye program. It's called the Glass Eye 2000. We're going to design a little project today and then in the next video we're going to go ahead and build it and I'll show you how to put it together. So let me go over here and in case you hadn't noticed, I love flowers. So I'm actually surprised we're not doing a flower today because I just love flowers. But I've got, these are all my different screens and I've got as many flowers as I possibly can. And these are terrific because they're full color all the time and I don't have to water them. So I'm gonna come over here to my middle computer. This computer, this is the control station. This is where it all happens. This is where the brain and the tech meet. This computer over here, I use this one to edit and put together my videos. This computer over here, I do my email and my website, you know, updates and things like that and my graphics. This computer over here is where I do my writing and my blogging and things like that. So a lot of times, here I'll spin all the way around for you. A lot of times I'll be using all three of these computers at the same time. I'll be looking something up over here while I'm drawing something over here while I'm editing and producing a video over here. Pretty exciting stuff. So this is where it all happens. This is my, ha my second happy place. My first happy place, of course, is the Glass Studio. All right, so we're gonna use the Glass I2000. Let's go ahead and open the program. So I've got it up here. Open it up. Oh, and there's a project there, which we got to hide very quickly because that project is going to be in the upcoming issue of Glass Patterns Quarterly. So today, let's draw a hummingbird. I love hummingbirds as much as I love flowers. So I'm gonna start by, you know, cause I have this infinite screen or canvas here. So I'm gonna start by drawing a circle. I draw the circle and then I hit the enter button and it puts it right smack in the middle of my canvas. Now I'm gonna go over here to this little arrow button, to highlight the circle, we go to modify, resize, and let's make this a six inch circle. Okay, then I'm gonna hit the enter button and that centers it in my screen. So this gives us an idea, kind of a, a size for this hummingbird. We don't wanna make a hummingbird that's you know gigantic or one that's too small. So I'll build one inside this six inch circle and then we can either decide to keep the circle or not. We'll just see how it goes. All right, so hummingbirds, I've been drawing hummingbirds for a very long time. We start with the beak. And then we come here, do little curves. So what happens with this program is every time you click, you could change the direction of the line. I don't worry too much about being real exact right now because I can go in and I can make adjustments to these lines at any time. I'll put this wing up here. Let's see, go here. This kind of here. And let's see, oh, let's see, I'm not really, I think this wing could be a little different. So let's go ahead and take this piece off. Now I'm just going to redo this wing all together. I don't like it. So I'm doing double clicking on it. When it turns yellow, then I hit the delete button and that removes the line all together. All right, so I'm liking the way this is going so far. Now I go up here and I click this little dots. These are called knots. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you. You see these little dots right here? Those are areas where you can adjust the direction, the size, and the contour of the shape. And you can go up here to this little button and I can add more dots or nodes if I want to, if I want to make um, you know, more adjustments and more flexibility in the shape of my line. There we go. Oh, he's a kind of a plump little guy, isn't he? Oh, I like that better, his head a little flatter. And maybe this this way a little bit more. So you can see how you have a lot of flexibility with just adjusting these little things. All right, so over here, his head looks a little funky. Let's go make a little adjustments there. All right, now we're gonna go up here. This little button gives us the, um, the you know, the, uh, the drawing tool. All 
And I maybe want to make that tail flare out a little bit more. There we go. Now, you see this is a little white dot here, and this is a gray dot? The white dot means that they're not connected. They're separate lines. Now, if you want to make them set connected, then you go up here to this little um, arrow with the plus sign, and you click on all the ones that are white, and then they become solid. So now if I go back up here and grab the arrow tool, if I grab this, so he's going to adjust both lines with it, whereas before they were independent of each other. Now the reason it's important that they're uh, connected is if you want to color in this design to test some colors, they have to be connected because otherwise it doesn't recognize this as a single piece of glass. It recognizes this whole thing as a single piece of glass. So I think I might like this to go out a little bit more like that. I like that. Okay, now let's work on the wing. Oh, let's give him an eye. There we go. That gives him a lot of personality, don't you think? He's kind of pudgy. Let's go ahead and bring this in it a little bit. There we go. And then we've got a little more flexibility here. All right, now let's go ahead and draw a wing. Oh, yeah, it kind of moved around there on me a little bit. And let's do another wing back here. This is back wing. Now this wing, I think it needs uh, a little something different. So let's, let's go ahead and take these off. And let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit so it looks more like it's behind him. Bring that over there. And then here, I'm gonna give this wing, gonna bring it into his body a little bit. There we go. Okay, so if I use this little arrow and plus tool, sorry that moved around that kind of quick, and I connect these dots, now I can go over here, and I can highlight these and then take them off. See how that brings the wing forward? And it really makes this wing look like it's behind and this wing look like it's forward. And now these are turning, this is going to be quite a few little pieces. So let's go ahead and do something like this to the wing to minimize all those, these pieces coming to such a strict point. And here, maybe to simplify a little bit so we don't have a ton of pieces because this is not that big a project. Now those last couple are a little too tight. I'm going to delete that. And then this might be a little tight to cut. So kind of, you know, straighten that out a little bit, but still get the wing. Now, if we wanted to, we could uh, delete, let's see, we, what, see right here when I do that, how it highlights all the way to there? So if I click here, connect those two, and I get my arrow again. Now I could delete this part of this line. And maybe we just leave it like that. And then perhaps we bring this, change the shape of this a little bit. Or maybe we don't need that line at all. What do you think? I don't think we need that line at all. I think I like that better. Because, let's see, now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. I think that's appropriate for something this size. I'm going to go ahead and um, put a little dot there. Now if I hit the Enter key, it fills the design inside my screen so I can get a nice look at it. Now I can take the arrow tool, I can highlight the whole bird, and I can rotate it. I go up here to Modify, Rotate. And I give him a little more of an angle there. It's kind of cool, right? All right, and now if I hit this button right here, it hides all those little dots, which can make it look kind of busy. Now I think his belly is still a little bit plump. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little, give him a little bit of a diet here. Here we go, take a little bit off of there. Only it was that easy. <laughs> right? Yeah, all you have to do is hit your little nodes. All right, I think I like, I like the way this is coming out. Maybe I'll adjust the beak a little bit right here. There we are. Okay. So now we've got this cool little hummingbird and let's find out how big he is. Here we go. We highlight him. We modify, resize. And right now he's about three inches by two inches, which is probably a pretty good size. Let's also rotate him. And then we might have a better, uh, we'll rotate him back. So he's sideways. And now let's go ahead and measure him again. Resize. He is now 
two, like two and three quarter by two and three quarter. So that's a pretty good size. And so at this point we could just say, hey, let's make him three inches. Let's change that to three and boom, now he's a little bit bigger. Isn't that awesome? So now we're gonna take this hummingbird and I think we're just gonna make it as it is. And we'll probably put one of those little handy hangers on it and, or we can put it on a stick and we can put it in one of my pots, one of my plants outside. I think either one of those is a great idea. Another option would be take the bird, move them out of the way a little bit and or, and, or we could uh, rotate them. Let's see, modify, rotate. Okay, and now, let's see, oh, let's unhighlight him. There we go. And now let's throw a little flower in here, like maybe a um, morning glory. Oh, sorry about that little glitchiness there. See, every time I click, I get to make another little change in the line. And now I could go up and get this little arrow tool, and I can adjust, make a little bit of adjustments here, so I get just the shape I like. Now here, let's see, I'm going to make this bigger. So what I'm going to do is hit the plus button, which brings me closer. Now I'm going to take this and move the screen a little bit so that I can, you know, get in here and make some adjustments to this flower to make it, you know, a little, uh, a little more interesting. So right there, let's see what's going on. I got two lines uh, crossing. So let's do, let's get rid of that. I'm going to add another dot here so I can make this a little softer. Oops, I got to get my arrow first. Okay, there we go. Make that a little softer. Oops. All right, here we go. Oops. All right, come on now. All right. I'm not really liking the way that's working. So let's go ahead and add a couple more dots. I want to get a nice soft kind of center to the flower there. That's what we're looking for. And this line, I would really like that not to connect there. Connect this one here. Okay, so let's see. And I think I would like to put another dot right here and bring this out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and hit the enter button. And there we go, we've got a hummingbird and we've got a morning glory. And of course, we probably want a couple of leaves. Put one over here. There we go. And then maybe one coming down this direction. I'm not crazy about uh, where this leaf is going, so I'm going to delete it. Highlight it, double click it, highlight it, delete it, get it off my page. And this one I think could be moving this direction a little bit more. So I like to work in thirds. So if I have one leaf, I like to have three. Actually, I'm not thrilled with that leaf at all. Let's go ahead and delete it. Boom, boom. I think I would rather have it kind of come out over here. Yeah, that's cool, except this line should really be going like that. No, it should be going like this. And then this should come in because it should taper a little bit more. There we go. Okay, that's cool. And let's go ahead and add another leaf right over here. All right, so I'm gonna hit the enter button that centers everything. I'm gonna take the dots off so I can see better. And I'm pretty pleased with that. Let's see, I think I would like this to be moved a tiny bit. All right, so I'm gonna move this leaf a little bit. 
Uh, I'll bring it out a little bit maybe like that. There we go. Okay, now I can take my circle. I double clicked on it and now I can move it to kind of orient that flower and the bird in this scene. And then maybe I want to ground the flower with a little stem. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know that it needs a stem. Let's take it off. Undo, undo. Let's just leave it like that. Okay, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, happy with this. So at this point, uh, it's a six inch circle. We've got about a three inch by three inch hummingbird. I'm not really sure what the size of the flower is, but I, I like it. Not too many pieces, just enough to make it look interesting. You know, give us some shapes that give us the contours of the flower. How it has a nice deep, because hummingbirds always go to flowers with um, a very deep throat because of their beak. So I've got these pieces right here that give a nice sense that this flower is kind of deep. Got the hummingbird ho hovering in the air. Got some green for color. So we've got the hummingbird colors, the flower colors, the leaf colors. I don't know what we'll do for the background. We we'll either do these independently or possibly do them as a whole piece. You'll just have to wait to find out. So that was fun, right? That's pretty cool to come up with your own design, just like spur of the moment like that. You have an idea and then you just draw it. So I really like this program because it's easy to use. You can plug in glass colors. Matter of fact, let's do that real quick. Let's plug in glass colors. You go over here, and let's say we want this hummingbird to be blue. Check it out. We can make it blue. Then I can click over here, and I can pick any color blue I want. I can come over here and pick a different color. Let's do that one. And then do that. And let's maybe do his, his tail in green. And I'm not saying I'm going to do these colors, but it's just kind of fun to, you know, test some different colors. Now, hummingbirds love red, so I'll have to do the flower in red. Isn't that beautiful? And then let's get another green. Go over here and pick up a nice lime, nice leaf green. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then we'll pick a, oops, oh, see, okay, there we go. And then let's pick, pick this one and we'll go slightly darker. Okay, look, you can pick your glass, isn't that cool? Let's pick that one. And look, it's got all the manufacturers right here. So if it's a, um, you know, with smock glass or, um, you know, bullseye glass, you can pick just that category and have just that one manufacturer. So we've got two tone leaves. Isn't that fun? And then let's do the beak, maybe a gray. I think this blue is a little too dark. Now, when you pick the glass, you get all this, pr this pretty um, activity in the color. Whereas when you just pick a solid like this, you just get a solid, which doesn't really look very glassy to me. It looks a little more flat. So I generally like to pick stuff that has, ooh, check that out. That's fun, right? And we need to make the hummingbird a different color if we do that. I like that green, but maybe we we'll to go a little lighter. So we go here. I know I'm going really fast on this um, compared to what you might be doing at home. There we go. Maybe, you yeah, know, we'll leave that one dark. And maybe we leave that one dark because they're kind of behind. And look how pretty that is. So we could color in his little eye right there. Oh, come on. No, nope, I guess we can't color in his eye. But uh, look at that beautiful activity in the background. Now, maybe you do or don't have that kind of glass, but it's just kind of fun to try different things. There have been several pieces I've made with Frit where I wanted to try some really unique color combinations on a specific, you know, um, design not the traditional color combinations. And with the program, you can plug in all sorts of stuff and see if you like it before you actually build it. So that's really a great feature. So I hope you enjoyed watching, making this, me drawing this hummingbird and the flower in the little circle here. We're gonna um, wrap this one up, but in the next one, we're gonna build this piece and I'll show you how it goes together. And that way you can get a really nice idea of, you know, design to fabrication to completion. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, please consider joining my premium video membership. Love to have you. And like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, happy fusing.